Rail to Land is a European-funded Erasmus Plus project led by the Universidad Politecnica de Madrid and joined by five other prestigious European partners. The Centro de Computación Gráfica, the Universita Politecnica de la Marche, the International Union of Railways, the Université Gustave Eiffel and the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid. It also has the backing of two railway operators, Renfe of Spain and Comboios of Portugal. Its main objective is to make rail users aware of the cultural and environmental value of the European landscapes they travel through on their journeys. The Rail to Land project has developed numerous activities focused on its objectives. Among them, a high quality and free access training package consisting of three MOOCs which total more than 540 minutes of material. Divided into 75 lessons, subtitled in five languages and given by a highly qualified teaching staff. One of the highlights of the project is a pilot experience on the Porto Vigo International Railway Line with the identification and analysis of the landscapes it runs through. This study has been published in a book carefully edited in English, Spanish and Portuguese. Moreover, its contents have been adapted to make them accessible during the journey by means of a specially designed and developed computer application. This application activates during the train journey an audio with the interpretation of each landscape unit and allows the user to consult the natural and cultural points of interest close to the route. In addition, special animations of some relevant places are presented made using drones and 3D surveys. The travel experience is complemented by the option for travellers to plan their journey in advance and then save not only their favourite content but also the photos they have taken along the way in a personalised folder. Furthermore, Rail to Land has organised five international scientific encounters with the participation of world-renowned professionals in European history, geography, engineering or heritage digitalization, among other fields. Finally, the Rail to Land project has promoted a gathering of young university students from the participating countries in the Italian city of Cagli. During their stay, they had the opportunity to share, learn and have fun through different innovative methodologies, such as cutting-edge 3D surveys, design thinking or learning by doing. Teachers and professionals from the railway sector and related areas have also participated in this encounter, facilitating an international and intergenerational exchange of experiences. The European landscapes that the railway enables us to contemplate are a valuable cultural legacy and a common heritage that Rail to Land intends to continue exploring in the future. So, will you be getting on board the Rail to Land train?